Good afternoon, Figaholics friends. Now we've got a Italian fig variety that's called Valle Negra. It came from, um, you hear a, this rooster pheasant um, has been behind me for a while, my neighbor's field for a while. He's desperately seeking a girlfriend. Um, this fig came from my friend Georgie, and I forget the lady's name that originally introduced it to collectors. She's no longer active, I don't think. Anyway, um, Valley Negra was given the name because it came from an area where there were mountains on each side, and uh, so the valley was always dark, I'm in the shadows, in other words. And it was thought that that was a cold area because in cold winters, um, the cold air would settle in the winter time. And so it was thought that this was a cold hardy variety. Um, it's productive. Um, it's got lots of fruits. You can see um, there's uh, many that um, you know are ripe now. There's some that have been eaten by birds, unfortunately. But let's see if we can find some. Let me back over here. This one's fairly ripe, not all the way. Let's get another. Well, this is very ripe here. In a smaller one. Yeah, this one's sweeter and juicier. Medium berry flavor, medium sweetness, very chewy, um, delicious fig. Um, I enjoy growing this. This is one of the first I added when I became a figaholic, I guess. Um, I... Um, got really intrigued with figs back in, well, I've been growing for 20 years now, but um, maybe eight years ago is when I really started adding a lot. And this is one, I remember I bought it from my friend Georgie back east and I enjoy it very much. Thanks for watching.